Cans of Play-Doh. Oh, this looks like the play mat. Here's our campgrounds. Oh, we even got a little lake. Woo! These are a lot of accessories. Let's check this one out first. We're going camping. Here's an extruder. We got a roller. This is a knife. Sharp. Cool! We even get a lollipop stick! And the green spatula! What else do we have? We got a lot of stuff in this playset! We could make a bread. Ooh, there's a marshmallow. I believe that's a peanut. We could make a square. Some bananas. A honeycomb. Some strawberries. We get a fork. Mmm, a watermelon. And we can make a circle. Here are two wooden sticks. We'll be using this for the marshmallows. Bottom of this plate, we can make some more food. Here's the top of the plate. And here's a closer look at the pan again. Here's where we can make the good stuff. A steak, an egg, and bacon! Alrighty! So, the first thing we need to do to get our campfire picnic started is to make a campfire. These wooden logs act as an extruder, so we could just push our Play-Doh through that. To make our campfire look as realistic as possible, we'll start with some red Play-Doh. Just get a little bit of that. I'm sure you guys have seen some orange flames too, so we'll need to get some orange Just need a little bit of the orange as well. Get the same amount as the red. And you also see yellow in fire, so we'll need a little bit of yellow. Do, do, we're gonna make a campfire. This is gonna be the best campfire ever. Okay, so the best way to make this is just kind of mold it together. Don't mold it too much or it's gonna blend into one color. And let's put it inside the logs. Just realized we got some big logs. This should burn through the whole night. We'll be nice and toasty. And when you're ready, just press down onto the stone. And let there be fire! Woo! Hot, hot, hot! Woo! My fingers are burning! Woo! Wow, making the fire is pretty easy. Spin this around, and if you guys have noticed, on top of some of the stones, there are a few other molds you can make. It's pretty much all types of creatures you would see on campgrounds. And if we pull back this stone, we could start one of my favorite activities, making marshmallows and putting them on a stick. So I'll get a little bit of white play-doh. Who's got a guitar? Me! Play us some campfire tunes! One, two. Okay. Ooh, you got some guitar skills! Let's make a Play-Doh campfire song. Here we go. We made a campfire. We're gonna toast some marshmallows. We made a campfire. We're gonna toast some marshmallows. <laughs> All right, we made our marshmallow. Now let's just attach it to the stick. And the key to not burning your marshmallow is to rotate your stick. You don't want to keep it on one side for too long or else it's gonna burn. With some chocolate and graham crackers, this will be delicious! Let me make one more marshmallow because I want to show you what I like to do. <laughs> that campfire tune stuck in my head. And what I like to do is make a double marshmallow stick. Give this video a thumbs up if you like to do the same. And now let's just ro- Oh! Too close to the fire. Woo! I worked up an appetite! Now let's make some dinner! You know what we also need to do? We need to tell some campfire scary stories! Ooh! Me, 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 me! Alright! Take it away, scary voice guy! 
There's a story about a man who would camp alone, and he would eat lots and lots of bacon. Ooh, scary! But it wasn't only bacon that he took. Bum bum bum! He also took lots and lots of eggs, and he only liked his eggs one way: sunny side up. <laughs> and finally, there was one last meal that he took. It was the mother of all meals, the T-bone steak. <gasps> one day, that man choked on a T-bone, and it was the end of his life. <gasps> Now, the rumors are, the ghost of this man travels all campgrounds, haunting those who eat steak. Eggs and bacon. Uh, aren't we eating steak, eggs, and bacon? Nah, no need to worry. This is just a story. No, it's not. He dares anyone to cook all three on a frying pan because once you do, they say the ghost of this man comes out when he smells the food cooking on top of the campfire. Okay, stop scaring us. It's true. Wait, can we just take a minute and take a look at this wonderful meal? We got a sunny side up egg, a juicy T-bone steak, and bacon. Ghost schmost. Did you guys hear that? Boo! All right, scary story time over. We got a big day ahead of us. We got a hike tomorrow, do some fishing, play in the water. So let's make some food for tomorrow before we sleep in our tents. Rolled out some brown dough, and we'll make some bread. Let's get this fresh bread out of here. Bread's got a good amount of carbs, so it should give us some energy. I'll slice this in half. Ah,、uh, yeah. Woo! This knife works well. And if I have any leftovers from the steak or bacon, I can make myself a meat sandwich. Let's make some snacks. Cookies sound pretty good. We could also use this for the s'mores. Here's a graham cracker cookie. We'll also need a side dish for our sandwich, so we'll make some potato chips. Here's one, but one's not enough. We need two and three. We'll have the cookie for dessert, and of course, the sandwich is the main meal. Woohoo! We got food for tomorrow now. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you a Play-Doh combo playset. Here's the Cyclone candy, and the Perfect Twist ice cream playset. Are you guys ready to make some delicious treats for the summer? I am. I'll start with the cyclone candy set. We'll first need to put two Play-Doh colors together. I'll use white and blue. And now we place our Play-Doh on top over here. Turn the handle. Ooh, cool! And we made some yummy gumballs. These are the vanilla blueberry flavors. You can also take your gumball and use it to make other candies at this station.
Here's this tasty looking triangle candy. Here's a little swirl candy. This is the Play-Doh candy. I know it's tempting, but don't eat it. Here's a wafer candy. And this is a flower candy. We can even use the gumballs with the extruders to make some lollipops. It looks like the extruder can take four gumballs at a time. Now we just twirl it like this. And attach it to the lollipop stick. Mmm, yummy! Let's make some more candy. This time I'll use red and yellow. I can watch the gumballs being made forever. It's so much fun. Awesome! We made some strawberry lemonade gumballs. If you get tired of using this candy mold, there's one more we can use. Here's a heart-shaped candy. A spiral candy. This looks like a shell, but it still looks good. Nice! We made a pretzel! And this is the jelly candy. I'll call this the monster cake. I'll finish it off by adding some purple icing.
Yum! Now it's time for us to go ice cream crazy! Let's make a cookies and cream ice cream first! I already asked what your favorite cake flavor was. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? I'll put this one on the blue cone. Now I'm craving some ice cream. Now that looks perfect. Now I'll make my favorite flavor, mint chocolate chip. Who's drooling right now? I am. Let's move on to the sundaes now. I'll use some purple Play-Doh. And some blue Play-Doh. And I'll top this sundae off with some birthday cake flavor ice cream. I can just imagine this sundae being really sweet. I'll also top it off with some chocolate, because it feels right. That looks good. I'm not done yet. Now I'll add some pink sprinkles to it. This is a pretty sundae. Let's make one more. I'll call this one Strawberry Lemonade Sorbet with Lavender Vanilla Chip Ice Cream. Can't forget the icing on top. This one looks good too. If you're not satisfied with just the cake and the ice cream, you can also make some cupcakes. This set is pretty wild. Here's a chocolate cupcake with purple frosting. We can use this to make some candy for toppings. Here's a vanilla mint chocolate chip candy. I would totally eat that.
And here's a blueberry lavender chip candy. This one sounds good too. You must be craving some sweets if you watched this whole video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, uh, some Disney toys here, and today I'm super excited to bring you Play-Doh Cake Party. We're going to be making all kinds of cakes. Here's the back of the box. Alright, I can't wait to start playing with everything. Let's go ahead and open the box. Whoa, this set comes with a lot of stuff. First, we have our base piece. It has a ton of molds on it. And this is what holds our extruder. And again, it has a bunch of molds on both sides. Here's our extruder. And this is the post to our cake tower. And yep, we have more molds. This goes in right here. And here's the tray for our cake tower. There's definitely no shortage of mold here. That just snaps on the top. And then here's the lid. This is our cake press. The top of it has mold, and the inside has our layer cake mold. And four little molds on the side. Here's a cake stand. A green plate. A blue plate. A cake cutter. A smaller cake cutter. Ooh, this one's shaped like a butterfly. This one's a star. And a little gingerbread man. It also comes with a knife, a fork, and a spatula. Now for our Play-Doh. This one's orange, blue, white confetti, yellow confetti, and pink confetti. I think we should start it out by making a layer cake. I'll go with the pink confetti first. This will be our very top layer. Our next one will be yellow confetti. And now we'll add some white confetti. And we'll put a little bit more pink for the bottom. Now we close the lid and then press down. Ooh, it turned out great. Let's go ahead and use our spatula to take it off. And then we'll move it over here to get some frosting. We just put some white Play-Doh in our extruder and then press down. Mmm, look at all those layers! This would be an awesome birthday cake! Now let's use our cake cutters to make another layer cake. We'll start it off with some blue. Next we'll do orange. and some white.
Here's our three layer confetti cake. For our next cake, we'll make an even bigger one using the larger cutter. Here's our first layer. Next is our pink layer. The third one will be orange. For the fourth, we'll go with some yellow confetti. And our last layer will be blue. Here's our five layer cake. I think we should do the butterfly one next. And here's our perfectly pink butterfly. We'll make an orange star. And a yellow confetti gingerbread man. Now that we've made all of our cakes, let's go ahead and frost them. And we can't forget about the decorations. This set comes with a bunch of molds after all. We'll start it off with this blue gummy bear and then make our way across. Oh, the little bear turned out great. Next, we have a little gingerbread man, a cookie, a flower, a peanut, a star, a heart, a leaf, and a wafer. Let's also decorate our larger cake. But I think it needs a little something else. How about this heart? We'll put our gummy bear on this cake. And a flower on this one. Well, thanks for coming to my cake party. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Awesome Dizzy Doys here, and we're going outdoors today! We'll be playing with the Play-Doh Campfire Picnic Playset! Who's ready to gather around the campfire, cook up some food, make marshmallows on a stick, play some songs, and tell some scary stories? But before we do that, let's take everything out of the box first. Here's our campfire. Here's a pan we could cook with. On the bottom we got some molds. Let's see what else. Woo! Five cans of Play-Doh. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. So we get two spoons, two forks, and two knives. Here are all the cake molds. We get four different cakes to choose from, and we also get three icing stamps. We can make three different types of layers for the cake. And this right here is a little display table to show off our baked goods. It looks like we can make some pretty cool molds underneath the table. Here's everything we need to make the ice cream. We get two cones, two sundae cups, and a roller. We also get an icing extruder, 
another mold to make some candy, and an ice cream scooper. We also get two shiny white plates. And here are the birthday cards we saw earlier. We also get two neat present boxes that we can make. It's pretty simple, you can just fold it in together like this. What was the best birthday gift you ever got? Write it in the comments below. And this is Play-Doh Heaven! We get four special Play-Dohs, a cookies and cream Play-Doh, a birthday cake Play-Doh, a mint chocolate chip Play-Doh, and what I like to call a purple chip Play-Doh. We also get some solid Play-Doh colors to play with. Purple, pink, brown, blue, white, and yellow. Now let's take a closer look at the cake making station. We can make three cakes at once. That orange gear on the right allows us to spin our cake station around. And we can also make a few molds off the base of this set. Alright, let's start by making some cakes. I have all my cake molds in front of me, and I think I'll start by making a birthday cake flavored cake. I don't know why it's called that, but it's really good. Now that we have that set, I think with the birthday cake flavor, purple icing would go really well with it. Nice! Let's work on our second cake now. This time we'll make a mint chocolate chip cake. You know I also really like ice cream cake. Those are actually my favorite. What's your favorite kind of cake? For the mint chocolate chip cake, I think a brown icing would go really well. What do you think? Time to make our third cake. We'll make a lavender chip cake. For this one, I think a yellow icing would be good. Now let's make our last cake. This one will be cookies and cream.
and this one will use the light blue for the frosting. Now that we've prepped all of our cakes, let's design it more on the cake making station. I like how we could just spin this around. I can't wait to see how our cakes turn out. Let's start with this stamp for our first cake. For this part, we'll be designing the icing of the cake. Nice! It kind of looks like a star. It also looks like a sheriff's badge. The cake will pop out by itself when you press the red lever down enough. Our cake's starting to look really good. Now that we finished that first one, let's add our last cake onto the cake making station. This time we'll use this stamp. As we go along, try to think of some cool names for each cake. I want to see how creative you guys can get. That's a really intricate icing design. This is a really cool cake too. I'm starting to get hungry. Now let's use this other stamp. Whoops, good thing our cake didn't break. This is a nice and simple design. Let's see how that icing design looks on the yellow frosting.
Nice. That's really pretty. Let's finish up these two cakes really quickly. Maybe I'm biased towards the mint chocolate flavor, but this one looks the best. This looks like a really elegant cake. Now it's time to make more layers to the cake. We'll use this pink Play-Doh. Let me just roll this out a little bit. We'll use this layer mold. Now let's put the cake on top. Let me create some more molds with this white Play-Doh so that we can design the cake some more. Here's a vanilla flavored heart. Let me make a few more of these. These look really yummy. I'll put these designs on the middle of the cake. I think this would be a really good wedding cake. Now I'll make a yellow cake layer. Let's see what design this mold makes. I'll place this layer on the plate too. You know what? I'm thinking we should make a double layer cake for this one. So let me use some brown Play-Doh. This is gonna be an epic cake. We take a little bit of our red Play-Doh and then put some of our white Play-Doh inside. And now let's just roll it up. And then we put it back here. Now let's just press it out. Ooh, there it goes! Yum! Three strips of bacon! Let's put this with our eggs! Mmm, that looks great! Ring the bell, cause breakfast is served! Yummy! This was a lot of fun! I hope you guys enjoyed this video!
Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Dizzy Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Burger Builder. This set's really hard to find nowadays, but I was able to get my hands on one, so I'm super super excited to finally play with it. The back of the box shows what we could do with this playset. Hopefully I could be all smiles too like the kids on the box. I'm a little worried guys, because I have a feeling my stomach's gonna growl when I play with this set. Let's open it up! Here are six molds to make our burger. We have a pickle, hamburger bun, lettuce, onion, tomato, and hamburger patty. Here's a plate, knife, roller, and a few tools for the extruder. Oh, I can't wait to use this. This is the crinkle cut fry extruder. Now let's see what Play-Doh colors we're working with. We get a brown Play-Doh, a yellow Play-Doh, a light brown Play-Doh, a red Play-Doh, and a green Play-Doh. Whoa, so awesome! Here's how the Burger Builder station looks like. You can lift these up so that we have three stations to work with. I'll start by making a bun station a patty station and a lettuce station I'll use the light brown play-doh to make the buns what do you guys like putting in your burger? for me I definitely need some bacon and I definitely need some guacamole in my burger my mouth just watered pretty soon my stomach's gonna growl Whoa! Look at the detail on this hamburger bun! These molds work really great! You can see the sesame seeds on top, and even the creases in the bread! I almost want to take a bite out of it! We're gonna need two buns for the hamburger, so I'll make another one! Now I'll use the brown play-doh to make the patty. Mmm, now that's a juicy looking patty. Let me start stacking my hamburger up on this plate. You guys want to hear something crazy? This burger builder set doesn't come with the cheese mold. Cheese is a pretty important piece to the hamburger. But it's not really a big deal. I could just grab some yellow play doh and make my own cheese. And now I'll place the cheese on top of the patty. Our burger just got 10 times better. We gotta be healthy, so let's add some greens to our burger. 
I'll make some lettuce. Man, I still can't believe how detailed these molds are. This lettuce is almost too real. Let me add some new molds to our station to keep building our burger. Here's the tomato station. The onion station. And the pickle station. I'll use the red play-doh to make some tomatoes. You know, when I was younger, tomatoes were not my friends, but now they're okay. What about you guys? Do you like tomatoes? Ah, oh, my eyes are watering. This is why I don't like cutting up onions. But I love them on my hamburgers, so they're worth the tears. Now it's time to make the pickles. This is one that I know people are 50-50 about. You either like pickles or you don't. I love pickles on my hamburger though. Place the pickle right there, and I'll put the hamburger bun on top. Whoa! This is a crazy stack. I don't think I could take a bite out of this one. What about you guys? I may have to press down on it. I'm sure you guys have an idea of what I'm making next. It complements the hamburger very well. That's right, french fries! Woohoo! When I order french fries in real life, I either order the largest one, or I get a double order because french fries are my favorite! So for my Play-Doh meal, I'll make extra two. Yum! This looks so good! I'm almost tempted to take a bite out of it. Since I love fries so much, I'll also make some crinkle cut fries. Cool! It's like a helicopter. Uh oh! I think I spun it too fast. It just shot out. Whoops, there it goes again. This tool's really awesome though. Look how it cuts the fries. Be sure to spin the blade nice and slow or else it's gonna shoot out everywhere. Whoops. These crinkle cut fries also remind me of Ruffles potato chips, which also go really well with hamburgers. Now I'm just super hungry, so I'm off to get a burger now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh 
cake and ice cream confections. I don't know if you've ever seen this one before, but this playset's pretty intense, so we'll be making a lot of cake and ice cream today. This is pretty much the perfect birthday party celebration kit. If your birthday is coming up soon, give a thumbs up. The back of the box shows a glimpse of all the things that we can do with this playset. Let's open this box to see what we get to play with. Here's the base of the set. It's also where we'll be making our cakes. This is the instruction manual. Ooh, this is a nice touch. We also get some birthday cards. <laughs> 